Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I have finally found the fifth companion, the Settler Wanderer, and I'm about to show you how can you find her as well. Let's begin! In my last companion guide, I mentioned that there is a fifth companion, besides Beckett, Daguerre, the Raider Punk and the Settler Forager. Her name is Settler Wanderer and she can be found through certain random encounters. In the end, it's all about how lucky or unlucky you are. For example, I have a friend who found her by chance in the first hours of his Wastelanders journey, then in contrast there's myself who just found her yesterday after doing about 100 several jumps. It took me days and I almost gave up to be honest, so she can be a real rarity to recruit for some players, just to give you an idea. Anyway, I will also talk about camp random events and what you can find there besides possible ally NPCs. So without any further delay, let's get right into it. There are many locations in the map where you can find the Settler Wanderer. You can find her through camp random encounters, mostly, but there are a few normal spawns that can spawn her too, which is the case for the south spawn near Vault 76. Now, I can't say this is the best spawn for her in the entire game, but it worked for me and for a few other people I know, so I can say 100% that she has a chance to spawn here. I tested it, I found her there, so I can say this spawn works for sure. The encounter spawn is right on top of the cow symbol in the map to make things simple, however, you shouldn't expect to find her in your first tries. As I said before, it took me about a hundred severed jumps, but if you are extremely lucky, then you might be able to find her right away. But it's best not to get high expectations, because the normal spawn is for male settler scouts, one per encounter, the NPC will be looking for new locations to populate for his faction. You can have a short chat with the settler and that's about it. You can't even earn any reputation or anything. You can kill it too if you want, you don't lose any rep. So do as you prefer. I found dozens and dozens of them. It's quite funny how their appearance and clothes are randomized every server jump. You will probably find a few empty spawns as well, that's completely normal. Now, keep in mind that it is also possible to find other minor allies in this spawn, such as the Settler Forager and possibly the Raider Punk too. Anyway, if you are persistent, your effort will eventually pay off. When you least expect, the Settler Wanderer will be there for you, at the top of the tower, looking down the stairs. When you find her, I really hope you do, by the way, you just have to talk to her and answer the obvious that she can stay at your camp. And voila, that's it! Just like the other minor companions, it's pretty easy to recruit the Settler a Wanderer. Just a hell of a lot of work to find her first. The location I showed you near Vault 76 is just one of the many places you can go to well farm. Let's call it that way. Minor allies can spawn at camp random encounter spawns. I'm sure you saw at least one of them walking around the map already. I am about to share two of my favorite locations, but you should know that there are plenty of alternatives at map 76. Just use the filter for trigger camp and as you can see, there are over 50 locations with this category, which means if a certain location is not working out for you, you can simply change to another. You have plenty of choices here. I am leaving the link below the video in case you want to check it out. And no, I'm not getting sponsored by map 76. It's just I find this map a really powerful tool and it can be super super helpful when you are dealing with random encounters. Anyway, I was also told by many people that they found their settler a wanderer all over the map through random encounters, which confirms what I have just mentioned. 
I didn't find her a second time, but I did find the Settler Forager and the Raider Punk in these camp encounters a few times. So I know as a matter of fact that minor allies can spawn there. If you decide to go for the camp random encounters, then let me share some great news with you. Besides a chance at finding the ally you want, you can also find a lot of other things that can be really helpful to you. Two of my favorite spots for this are in the forest region, and you can find all sorts of encounters there, such as reputation events, you can choose to recommend to scavengers to join the settlers or the raiders, and earn reputation accordingly to your decision. Freedom of choice is always a bonus. You can also find different traders such as scavenger traders or just traders. They always have a different inventory and randomized items. Most of the time they sell ordinary stuff, but every now and then you can find rare items such as the hunter's long coat. Wow, no more Charleston responders bought farming required. I told you, great news! You can also find storytellers with some scary and interesting alien experiences to share with you, as well as scientists, soldiers, settlers and a lot of different enemies, such as Blood Eagles and Scorched. Every now and then you will also come across an empty land with no spawn encounters. Well, it's life, isn't it? All part of the random system. Besides all of these examples, you can also find minor allies. Besides all of these examples, you can also find minor companions, any of them I suspect. Unless there are specific random encounter spawns for certain allies. I don't think so though, but who knows? Just make sure to keep trying. I know it can be despairing, but if you really want to find the Wanderer, I'm afraid there is no other way than to server jump on such locations. Let's say you just recruited her or you wish to know more about this character. Well, a spoiler alert right here. Back at your camp, go into the construction mode and head to the Allies tab. Her personal item is the Wanderer's guitar. In case you are wondering, you don't get any special buff from playing her guitar. I did test it alright, it works just as any other instrument. Also, I noticed that she really loves to use my brewing station. She even has an animation drinking from a bottle. I know she is a cheerful person, but sometimes it looks like she likes alcohol a little bit too much. Anyway, she has some really joyful lines and of course she loves to play her guitar. She will also provide some defense for your camp, but she goes down very easily and hardly does any damage. Typical of allies. Let's proceed to the next point, which is another spoiler. Just like the other minor allies, the Wanderer also has a quest. It's certainly not a daily, unless I am bugged. It wouldn't surprise me though. Her quest is called Ally Lucky Find and you can get it right after you recruit her. Just head back to your camp and talk to her. She will give you the quest briefly. Now, she sent me to the Cranberry Bog at the forward station Alpha. All I had to do was kill the enemies there in order to loot a weapons case inside the yellow container in one of the tents and then return to her. That's it, very straightforward, just like the other quests for minor companions. I got a 3 stars legendary weapon from it, I'm not sure if the reward is the same for everyone, I think not. I got a vampire's Tesla rifle, a pretty decent weapon actually. That's all the quests I got from her in two days now. She doesn't give me anything else, which probably means that was a one-time only quest or a weekly. I guess I will find out which one very soon. Maybe you heard about this new buff already. It's called Kindred Spirit and it's a kindness from your minor companion. 
I have received lots of comments and even DMs talking about this and I decided to test. So basically your well rested buff gets an upgrade, it will last 3 hours instead of the typical 2 hours whenever you sleep at your camp with one of your minor companions spawn, including the settler a wanderer. I heard that you also get this buff when you finish the quest lines for your major companions or romance them. I didn't get there yet, so I can't confirm this part, but the first one I can for sure. It's pretty handy, it also means you don't have to sleep as much while playing for long periods of time. Upgrades are always welcome in my opinion, so make sure to have an ally spawn at all times, because you are basically spawning benefits, why wouldn't you do that? More spoilers ahead. Lastly, there is something really unique about the settler a wanderer. She hums. Even though she is supposed to be a singer in the wasteland, she doesn't sing at all, at least when you are around her. If you listen to her random lines, you will get the picture, the background story and such. Anyway, she hums quite often, even while playing the guitar. And that's amazing. She has different types of hummings as well. I have identified at least three different ones so far. It's so peaceful and relaxing. I'm really glad they added this small detail to the character. It makes the difference for sure. If you are wondering how it sounds like, I will show you just one and leave the others for your imagination or for you to discover when you finally find her and recruit her to your camp. This is how you can recruit the secret ally, the settler, a wanderer. She is really not easy to find, but she is so unique and nice to have around, so I really recommend you to recruit her whenever you find the time and patience for the grinding. Don't forget you can find many other interesting encounters from the process, including free reputation and even the chance to find rare items through traders. Anyway, I heard there might be more allies, such as a male, a wanderer, and even an engineer. If this is true, it must be even more rare than this girl. I've been doing so many random encounters lately to test other categories and no sign of any other allies so far. Maybe they will be added to the game, maybe they are there already, I don't know. I guess we will find out sooner rather than later. Well, that's going to be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed the details and happy farming. My name is Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching. My Easter event is about to end, so make sure to submit your entries to get a chance to win awesome prizes before the time runs out. Join my Discord for the details. The link is below the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Fallout 76 guides like this one. And as usual, you can support me even further by becoming a member here in the channel or through my Patreon. That's really everything. Stay safe and I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Until then, take care. Adios. Bye bye.